So power. Power is defined as the rate. So it is the rate at which energy is transformed or transferred over time. Okay, so energy is the rate at which energy is transformed uh, or transferred over time. So power is energy over time. If we have a look at that, um, energy has units of joules, time has units of seconds, so it must be joules per second. This is also commonly referred to as what, as what, capital W. Now, if we think about this in terms of something practical, so we have like a light bulb here. In our light bulb, we've got a filament. All right, so as um, electrons move from one side to the other across the filament, they're going to lose energy. Now, if we have a 100 watt light bulb, that actually means that there is 100 joules per second because power is the rate at which energy is transferred or transformed, 100 joules per second of electrical potential energy being transformed into, um, in this case for a light bulb, you're going to have heat and light per second. That is how much energy, 100 joules per second, every second, that many joules being transformed from electrical potential energy into heat and light energy. Now if we go one step further, we know that power is the rate at which energy is transformed, transferred, and we also know that voltage is the amount of energy per charge. With a little bit of rearranging, you can see this means that the energy, change of energy, is equal to V times Q. So in this formula here, rather than having changing energy, we can replace changing energy with V times Q. So power in the formula becomes VQ over change in T. Now if you look really closely, you'll see something familiar, Q over T. If you remember from before, current is the rate at which charge flows in a circuit, so charge per second, which means that we can replace the Q over T with current. So power becomes V times I. And that is another formula that you're going to need to be able to, to work with. So really, to summarize things, we've got three formulas that we've introduced today. We have V equals IR, Ohm's law. We have power as being voltage times current. We also have power has been equal to the change in energy over the change in time. And actually more than that, it's more than three because we also have the definition of voltage, which is the amount of energy per coulomb of charge. And we also have the definition of current, which is the over rate at which charge flows over time. So this is pretty much all of the formulas that you need to be familiar with when dealing with um, circuits in DC.